wants to go next, please identify yourself. Hi, I'm Heather Spaniel. I apologize. I missed the box to speak yesterday. I was here for the whole three hours, but there was 50 people in T-shirts when I came in. I was a little intimidated. If you could um, say, uh, state your name and spell it. And Heather Spaniel, S-P-A-N-I-O-L. Thank you very much. Proceed. Uh, my affiliation is just I'm a homeowner of 11 years. Um, the first eight years were great. Um, I'm in my third home currently. And for the past three years, I've been harassed. Um, that's why I'm here today. I apologize for, I'm going to try to go fast because I do have a lot of points that I want to get across. Um, <clears throat> so I could start with, um, I just have a lot of different points to touch. Um, somebody mentioned yesterday it's the anniversary of NRS 116. It's about 20 years that we, we got it. Uh, it was put in. It's definitely time for change. Um, it's definitely time for change. There's a lot of harassment going on. I understand it's not every homeowners association. It's um, maybe it's a minority, but that doesn't mean that the minority of us should be shunned uh, just because it's not the majority. Um, the survey that Mr. Watson, um, Commissioner Watson, was discussing yesterday, that was done by the CIA or the CAI. I call them the CIA. 71% um, of homeowners are happy. Um, I just feel like that's possibly a biased survey, uh, being that it was done by the CIA. Um, everybody here yesterday that were in the t-shirts and the rally, I mean, come on, they're all board members. They're all former board members. Um, and everybody in this room mostly now is attorneys, is um, collection agency uh, board members. Um, also, Mr. Watson, I don't, I don't know if he's there today. I don't think he is. But the fact that he told us he's happy with this homeowner association at first just shows, you know, he doesn't really care about the community that elected him because he's not even going to listen to us. Um, I would definitely have a great case with everything that happened to me. My car was towed twice um, illegally. Uh, they've retaliated against me. Um, I've definitely, definitely been selectively enforced. But uh, I spoke to one of my friends who's an attorney, and he told me that it would be a waste of time because the law's against homeowners. They're, they're, yes, I was violated, but there's nothing I can do about it, is what he told me. Um, and you know what? When the economy finally bounced back, it, it, guess what? If you're living on HOA, you're not going to sell your house uh, uh, because it's a selling point to not have an HOA. Um, so I hope that anybody that passes these bills that are very homeowner unfriendly, I hope you don't have a house uh, that you live in a homeowner association because you're going to have a hard time selling it uh, later on. And you can ask uh, real estate agents. I'm sure they'll tell you. Um, also, if you vote for this bill, uh, it's a vote to feed the cash cows, the collection agencies, the HOA attorneys, um, the, the people that you see in here today. They're the only people that want these bills passed. Homeowners... Yeah, um, I don't think any homeowners would want these passed. Only the ones on the board. Only those homeowners. Arbitration, Alvin Appleberg, I apologize if I said his name wrong. I, 18 cases um, he oversaw, and 17 of them went to the homeowners associations. You have better odds in the casino than you do with him. I mean, and to, to, to Senator Copeland that put this whole bill together, you're a former board member. I mean, that's a little biased. I hope, I hope you weren't biased when you put this whole thing together. You were talking about yesterday how the HOAs are strapped for cash. How about the people that are going to be strapped into their house when you keep taking away more rights? Because no one's going to buy these houses that have HOAs. I will never buy a house with an HOA again. Never. Um, I'm just sick of seeing attorneys like Mr. Leach take these NRS statutes and use them to his advantage and then change it with the next case and use it and switch it to his advantage every time. It's just not really um, fair. I know life isn't fair, but, um, and I understand HOAs are a business. I get that. But you know what? These are our homes that we live in and we work our whole entire lives for. And to not feel comfortable in your own home. Um, to get violations, and, and to get letters in the mail like uh, a couple times a month about trash cans being out an hour early, rocks being out of place, cars being towed, the color of the driveway not matching, the kids' jungle gym. I mean, I feel like I have a landlord. It, I, I, what was the point in buying a house when I have a landlord? My landlord is the homeowner association. 
Um, can we really not make it without people telling us where to park and where our kids can play? And I hope none of you guys out there have kids that play soccer and the soccer ball goes on your neighbor's lawn because that's a use of neighbors. Uh, what is it called? It's the exact wording that you put in there. Um, use of neighbors enjoyment, something like that. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, the HOA is really, you should just maintain the golf course, the pool, the gates, etc. Stop telling people, you know, every, how to live. And we're not a small group. We're just in a unique city where people don't get involved here. I mean, we have 2.9 million people and 400,000 voted. I mean, it's just, unfortunately, it's a city where people don't get involved. I promise you, there are tons of people that feel like I do. I promise you. Um, Pat out. Taylor, the head of the CIA. Oh, I'm almost done. You'll need to wrap up, please. Okay, I'll wrap up real quick. Okay. Pat Taylor, the head of the CIA, she said different things on different news um, stations, so she's pretty much a liar. Um, and you know what? If you don't do something now, people are going to start to rally and shut down HOAs because it is possible. Um, and please don't, the former board members, please don't... Um, be biased in this process. Please think of everybody else. Don't think of when you were on the board, this happened and this happened. And we have we have a hall of shame, people, for the new homeowners associations. Come on. Who's going to come move to Las Vegas when there's a hall of shame for the homeowners associations? Um, please, I just beg you, please don't give them more power. Um, please make these more um, homeowner friendly uh, for us. And don't, yeah, I think that's all. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you very right much, Ms. Spanner. Okay, this is a legislative hearing now. Okay, thank you so much.